Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is another little uh, part of Transformation Doctor. Thought it was pretty important. Transformation Doctor. Sorry about that. If you just made it needed to make a couple of this is I'm still working with this one inch circle. If you set your nudge factor on one inch, Control D, you've got a one inch circle right next to it. I mean, right next to it. It's it's uh, dead on. But that's pretty neat if you just need one. But if you need 50, go to your position, go one inch, zero, and 49, because you've already got one. That would save you 49 keystrokes if you needed to make that many circles. Now, with that being said, let's say you want them to be just a little bit apart. You don't want them touching. Now you've got them, and you can do the same thing with your nudge factor, but this is kind of faster and neater, and, and uh, you're not going to get you know, more accurate by using this and using the position tool and you can change this number to anything you could you know since you've already got these you could go to zero here and go 1.02 and you'd have to actually make that a negative number um, if you wanted to go the other way but there you go you've got a bunch of circles that you know, would possibly cut out and you can you couldn't get them in there any closer. Matter of fact, they might be a little bit too close. Uh, might get a little bit smoke, more smoke residue than you want. But anyway, hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.